Hi everyone, welcome to Life with Kiari. Just Alana today. So it's September, Kiari Awareness Month. I'm rocking the purple, which is the color of the Kiari Awareness Ribbon. And I've been having a lot of trouble just keeping up with doing videos. I feel like life is always getting in the way. A lot of times I don't feel well, I'm focused on other things. I'm sure anyone else with chronic illness can relate, but um, since it's the end of September, I felt like it was important to get on and do a video before the Awareness Month was over. Today, I want to talk about something that I think is not brought up very much or talked about, um, which is grief and acceptance. So this is something I've really been working on, I've been struggling with, and I think it's a big part of dealing with chronic illness of any type. Sorry, moving a little bit here. Um, so yeah, uh, when you have Chiari or any other type of chronic illness, as the word implies, it's chronic, it doesn't go away, and your life changes. I don't think people realize how much your life really changes, and I don't think anyone can prepare for how much your life is going to change. Because of the debilitating symptoms that we all face every day, I mean, me personally, there's, I think if you watch my past videos, you've seen that there's just a list of probably like 20-something symptoms that I can have on any given day where often it's making it hard for me to get through my day. I'm just not able to do a lot of the things that I used to do. I've had to give up a lot with Chiari and uh, Syringomyelia too. So, I mean, like, I haven't been able to work for the last three years. I can't do a lot of physical activity that I used to love, like hiking and um, dancing and just, you know, anything that, that puts a lot of strain on the body. Like, being living with Chiari, you're actually not supposed to do certain things, like you're not supposed to ride roller coasters or do anything with a lot of G-force. Um, you really do have to give up a lot. I, I lost a career. I mean, I'm hoping one day I can get that back, but like I worked so hard to build this career. Uh, I used to be a mental health counselor and um, just not being able to work for the past few years has really been hard for me. And, you know, just losing, losing this life that I worked so hard to get. On the other hand, I've had to work on building a new life, one with these certain limitations. And it's just been, it's been a process. It's been a journey for sure. I think everyone handles it a little differently. Um, I see a lot of people in the support groups talk about dealing with depression and anxiety and some of the mental health aspects that come along with being in pain every day and not being able to do the things that you'd like to do. I think a big thing for me too is just the frustration. Like my mind still wants to do all these things. I wanna get up every day and be able to do all the tasks around the house and go out and hang out with friends and go to different events. And I wanna be able to kind of be like a so-called normal person. But a lot of days I'm not able to do that because I'm in too much pain, I'm too fatigued, my body isn't cooperating in some way, and the frustration, I don't even know if the word frustration begins to cover it, it's just sometimes I get angry, sometimes, you know, all the different emotions. And I think it's important to raise awareness about this and talk about it because I think people are often left feeling really alone and isolated and feeling like they're the only ones going through this. And I'm here to say you're not the only one going through this. I, I think anyone dealing with life-changing chronic illness goes through these things. Um, I wanted to show you a little project that I'm working on to help me just cope. So I'm making myself a a little box. It's, I don't know what to call it. If you have any ideas, let me know. But um, like a coping box or something to kind of help me practice that acceptance piece. So I'm gonna paint it. I'll show you when I'm done with the finished product. But so far, I've started writing little kind of inspirational quotes to help me get through those bad days. Because some days I really 
do lose sight of all those good things in life or I lose sight of the progress I've made or it's really hard to look at the positive side. So this is something to help remind me that life is not always so bad. I can tell you, so I, I kind of cut out little pieces of paper like this and I'll tell you what I wrote on them. Um, so let's see. Here, here's one I've really been working on. I don't know if you can see it all backwards, but um, I wrote on here acceptance. It is what it is, what will be, will be. Just reminding myself that sometimes I, if I can't change the situation, instead of fighting it or getting angry or frustrated, trying to accept that it is what it is instead of making myself more upset. Or, um, kind of like reminders of things I really enjoy or things I'm still able to do. Like on here I wrote the ocean. Like for me, I'm so thankful I'm able to still swim. I'm able to get in the ocean. I'm able to enjoy times being in the water. Um, reminding myself, this won't last forever. So when I'm encountering those really bad days where I'm in a ton of pain and I can't get out of bed, I have to remind myself that it's not going to last forever, that eventually that flare or pain will break and I'll have a good day again and I'll enjoy life again. So that's kind of just one, one little thing I'm doing to, to work on this acceptance piece. And it really has been over the last few years building a whole new life for myself and trying to figure out ways to enjoy life and figuring out what I can do despite my pain and certain limitations. So not, not like just saying, hey, screw it, I give up, but saying like, what can I still do? And how can I live the best life I can? And trust me, I'm not always good at that. Like some days it gets to me, some days I break, some days it's hard to look at that, but I figured this was one little way to to try to just remind myself, I guess, so. So yeah, um, I'll pop back on when my box is complete. I'm going to paint it, give myself a little art project to do, and keep writing down more little inspirational quotes for myself. And that's it. So thanks for listening, and like and subscribe if uh, you want to keep seeing more videos. And let me know what you think, or please feel free to share your own struggles, anything like that. But until next time, take care and Hiari salute.